Welcome back to another episode on Behold Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a retro look at one of Capcom's final games on the Sega Saturn with Street Fighter Alpha 3, also known in Japan as Street Fighter Zero 3. At the demise of the Sega Saturn, playing any games at all was going to be on Sony's PlayStation and was always to be expected at the time. If you wanted games, Sony had the answer for you. This was about the only way that I could actually play Street Fighter Alpha 3 at the time. Needless to say, I had a blast with the game, earning all the characters from past installments like Guile to Fei Long and all redrawn and animated. This was a true bonus for fans that they got to see an upgraded look for the Alpha series from the entire cast of Street Fighter and there was a lot more. The only con that I had was that I really hated the PlayStation controller for fighting games. I could never truly use any characters but the charge characters that left me playing a lot of Charlie and of course a lot of Guile later. The Dreamcast version appeared and it was more perfect like the arcade, but the controller still pretty much sucked. I had to buy an adapter for the Dreamcast to use for my older Sega Saturn controller to play, but you know what? It was worth it. As time passed on, with the power of YouTube, I discovered that one of Capcom's final farewell to the Sega Saturn also included a Japanese-only release of Street Fighter Zero Three, shortly after the Dreamcast version was released in Japan. With the popularity of the Saturn in Japan extremely high, it made sense that that's the way they wanted to go out. Street Fighter Zero Three was developed and released by Capcom in 1999 for the Sega Saturn and needed the 4 meg RAM cart to play just like Vampire Savior and X-Men vs Street Fighter and its sequel, Marvel Super Heroes vs Street Fighter. Seeing how the other 4 meg RAM cart installments were pretty much arcade perfect, I had to try and play Street Fighter Zero Three 3 and see for myself how close this port truly was. The Saturn version makes incredible use of the 4 meg RAM cart to add more frames and sprites matching the arcade very closely. Similar to the Dreamcast release, Guile, Evil Ryu, and Shinokuma are all selectable from the get-go. The World Tour and Survival Modes were unchanged from Sony's PlayStation for good reason as they were just as addicting as they were as the PlayStation original. Other additions including a reverse dramatic mode that allows two players to fight two computer-controlled characters without a hint of slowdown. All the features and characters are all available, which does take some of the fun away by earning characters, but with my time these days, it was a welcome addition. The visuals here are perfect to the arcade original and more with more characters, stages, and just the ultimate version of the game in my opinion. Capcom didn't slouch one bit here as the gameplay is very smooth and plays identical if not better than any of the other installments that I have tried. My guess here is due to the Sega Saturn pad that was made for fighting games. Whether an upside to 2D gaming or downside in 3D, the Sega Saturn Pad is still my favorite controller of all time when it comes down to fighting games, and it doesn't disappoint here. I can play each and every character with ease and pulling off supers like butter. The only excuse I have now is my own skill at the game, as I'm definitely not the same as I was when I was younger, and in my old age, I've definitely got slower. Needless to say, the controls and the controller used can mean everything to a fighting game. I truly wish that this game came out for the Sega Saturn in the US, so I didn't have to discover, quite frankly, my favorite version of Street Fighter Alpha or Zero Three I have ever played, 
due to its arcade presentation thanks to the 4 meg RAM card and of course the best of Sega's fighting controllers that puts this version over the top on all the others. That's it for this Take 2 Retro Look at Street Fighter 03 for the Sega Saturn. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all in the next upload. Damn. Uh.